హలో ఐ ఎవ్రీ వన్ సో నెక్స్ట్ తీరం ఇన్ రియల్ అనాలిసిస్లో రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ ఇన్ రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ ఫోర్త్ యూనిట్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ షార్ట్ ఆన్సర్ క్వశ్చన్ సో లాస్ట్ టైం కేమ్ ఇన్ ద ఎగ్జామినేషన్ వన్స్ అబ్జర్వ్ దిస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ దిస్ తీరం దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఇఫ్ ఎఫ్ ఈజ్ రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ ఆన్ ఏ కామా బి ఆర్ ఆఫ్ ఏ కామా బి ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ ఆన్ ఏ కామా బి దెన్ ఎఫ్ స్క్వైర్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ ఆన్ ఏ కామా బి మీన్స్ ఇఫ్ ఆర్ ఈజ్ రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ సారీ ఇఫ్ ఎఫ్ ఈజ్ రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ దెన్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు షో ఎఫ్ స్క్వైర్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ సో ఎఫ్ ఈజ్ రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ మీన్స్ ఎఫ్ షుడ్ బీ ఎఫ్ షుడ్ సాటిస్ఫైస్ దిస్ కండిషన్ దట్ ఈస్ యూపీఎఫ్ మైనస్ ఎల్పిఎఫ్ ఈజ్ లెస్ దెన్ ఎఫ్ సిలాన్ నౌ వీ హ్యావ్ టు షో యూపిఎఫ్ స్క్వైర్ మైనస్ ఎల్పి ఎఫ్ స్క్వైర్ లెస్ దెన్ ఎఫ్ సిలాన్ ఓకే సో దిస్ ఇస్ వాట్ కండిషన్ ఫర్ రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ ఓకే ఆల్రెడీ గివెన్ ఎఫ్ ఈజ్ రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ అని ఏకామా బి మీన్స్ ఎఫ్ షుడ్ సాటిస్ఫై దిస్ కండిషన్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ ఎఫ్ స్క్వైర్ ఆల్సో సాటిస్ఫైంగ్ సేమ్ కండిషన్ దట్ ఈస్ యూపీ ఎఫ్ స్క్వైర్ మైనస్ ఎల్పి ఎఫ్ స్క్వైర్ ఈజ్ లెస్ దెన్ ఎఫ్ సిలాన్ దెన్ వీ కెన్ సే ఎఫ్ స్క్వైర్ ఈజ్ రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ అన్ ఏ కామా బి నౌ ఇయర్ అవర్ వర్క్ ఈజ్ వాట్ టు షో UPF square minus LPF square is less than epsilon. Okay. How we will solve this? See, we will see. So, before going to explain this uh, theorem. So, so, please subscribe my channel. And uh, see till the end of uh, this video. I, why? Because you will understand uh, everything. If you skip, you can't understand in the uh, this total theorem. Okay. I hope all you clear. Now, let us start our theorem. So, F is Raman integrable on A comma B means... In previous theorem, I explained F is Riemann integrable means mod F also Riemann integrable. Why we are taking here mod F or why, why, why we want this mod F case means F, F square here, F square we have to show now. So minus 2 square or plus 2 square. The both are will become 4 only. And this means this function may, may be in negative or may be in positive. But F square means the total will become positive only, right? Square means what? Negative also will become positive. Positive also will become positive only, right? So that's why here we are taking a case f and mod f, right? So f is Riemann integrable on a comma b means mod f also Riemann integrable on a comma b. So f is Riemann integrable means it it should be bounded on a comma b. So f bounded on a comma b means mod f also bounded on a comma b. Okay? So mod f is bounded on a comma b means mod f square that is f square is also bounded on a comma b, right? why we are why we are uh, coming from year to year why because if it is bounded then only we can write infimum minus supremum values okay so we know f is bounded why because f is riemann integrable then f is bounded then we can write infimum minus supremum of f but we need to know infimum minus supremum of f square also to show up f square minus lp f square should be less than epsilon if you want to show this you should take lhs lhs in in lhs what we have upf square lpf square upf square means upper riemann sum here lower riemann sum so if you want to find this two you need to know infimum and supremum of f square that's why we are doing this all uh, these three steps okay if it is f square is bounded then we can write infimum and supremum so that's why we are showing f is riemann integrable means f square. sorry f is bounded means f square also bounded right why we are doing these three steps means i am explaining right okay now so up to here clear now see f is riemann integrable on a comma b then f is riemann means f is bounded if it is bounded there exists a partition p belongs to phi of a comma b so it is bounded it is riemann integrable then it is bounded there exists a partition then it should satisfy this condition upf minus lpf is less than epsilon so listen one thing observe one thing here epsilon means very small value okay epsilon means a smallest value very 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 smallest value epsilon means means so means why i am saying this uh, particularly for epsilon why because according to the uh, theorem for our uh, safe of convenient for uh, proof of this uh, theorem not only this theorem most of the theorems we will change this epsilon like uh, epsilon by 2 epsilon by 3 or 2 uh, epsilon like epsilon by m epsilon by 2m epsilon by 2m plus 1 like this 
that like this we will take why because epsilon is smallest value if we divide something to epsilon then that epsilon will become still the smallest okay this only smallest if we divide something this with that will become also smallest right that's why we are changing this epsilon to according to the our theorem okay see so this condition should satisfy if f is riemann integrable okay it is bounded then there should be bounded means what it should have infimum and it should have supremum so let us take infimum of f is small mr and supremum of f is capital mr okay now if we take a small mr and capital mr infimum and supremum it should satisfy this condition no so for this theorem we have to take in place of epsilon epsilon by 2m okay in place of epsilon we have to take epsilon by 2m okay so upf is nothing but upf means upper riemann sum means here you have to use supremum okay this is the formula i explained in the previous session once uh, seen a description i will give uh, link uh, video link that is introduction of riemann integration in that in that we have this uh, concept okay right so upf is nothing but sum of r is equal to 1 to n capital mr delta r lpf is nothing but uh, r is equal to 1 to n small mr delta r lpf is nothing but for infimum supreme upf is nothing but for supremum okay up to here clear i think here just uh, epsilon is uh, sum of r is equal to 1 to n delta r we taken outside why because these two are common then here left uh, capital mr minus small mr right now we have to take lhs now required to prove is what up of square minus lp of square is less than epsilon this we have to show okay we know already f square is bounded on a comma b if it is bounded there should be infimum and supremum infimum of this will become mr square and supremum of f square will become capital mr square in ir rth sub interval okay so take lhs up of square minus lp of square up of square means upper riemann sum upper riemann sum means you have to take supremum value here that is mr square delta r should be common here small mr square lpf is nothing but if we take here delta r common to this side sum of r is equal to 1 to n to this side then it will be capital mr square minus small mr square right so if you observe this it is in the form of a square minus b square that is a minus b into a plus b a minus b into a plus b that is capital mr minus small mr into capital mr plus small mr into delta r okay so here capital mr small mr values are what these are the infimum and supremum values infimum and supremum values of f okay infimum and supremum values of ef means we have a bounded condition that is small f is less than capital m less than or equal to capital m this is the bounded definition right so means means mod f should be less than or equal to capital m so mod f is nothing but we can write this as minus m is less than or equal to f is less than or equal to capital m mr mr means in place of this mr and mr we can substitute capital m okay here we have to substitute capital m m plus m that it will become 2m why we are not substituting here why we are not substituting here means we have a we have a special notation for this okay this total part we have a special notation right that's why we are not substituting capital m values here and here so if we substitute here m plus m it will become 2m so remaining part here we left the remaining part here substitute uh, observe one more thing equal will became less than or equal to why less than or equal to means already explained mod f is less than or equal to capital m if f is bounded mod f also bounded no that's why we are writing here less than or equal to right less than or equal to 2m this total part will become now less than epsilon by 2m here 2m 2m will be cancelled then we got less than epsilon from equation number 1 if we substitute in place of this total epsilon by 2m 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 will be cancelled finally we got upf square minus lpf square is less than epsilon less than epsilon so therefore for each epsilon greater than 0 we can find p belongs to phi of a comma b this is a partition such that upf square minus lpf square is less than epsilon therefore f square is riemann integrable on a comma b okay therefore f square is riemann integrable on a comma b i hope all you clear very simple and easy theorem if you like the this video uh, you can share to your friends meek video ganaka nachinataithe like cheyandi share cheyandi 
అదే విధంగా ఏదైనా డౌట్ ఉంటే కింద కామెంట్ సెషన్లో కామెంట్ పెట్టండి ఇంకా డౌట్ ఏదైనా ఉంది అనుకుంటే ఇన్స్టాగ్రామ్ ఆర్ టెలిగ్రామ్ ఇన్స్టాగ్రామ్ ఆర్ టెలిగ్రామ్ లింక్స్ కింద డిస్క్రిప్షన్లో ఇస్తాను సో మీరు ఇన్స్టాగ్రామ్ ఆర్ టెలిగ్రామ్లో నాకు మెసేజ్ చేసినట్టయితే షూర్గా నేను మీకు రిప్లై ఇస్తా మీకు ఏదైనా డౌట్ ఉన్నట్లయితే ఓకే ఐ హోప్ ఆల్ యూ క్లియర్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ వాచింగ్ హ్యావ్ ఎ నైస